What a wonderful treat! I don't think I've ever had such delicious ice cream. Thank you. Uh, oh, oh dear. Uh, oh, Ventus. Just Ven is fine. Well, thank you, Ventus. Way to go, Ven! I see. We have to push this thingamaji the other way. Hey, I just got an idea. We could let our customers make up their own favorite flavors of ice cream. Not with that machine. Well, the kid might have got it to work this one time. But junk like that needs to get junked. Don't you dare, oh. Pete! Fine, but Captain Justice will return. About Captain Justice. You said his name is Pete? Yeah, he's the biggest troublemaker in town. I bet he's just calling himself Captain Justice because he wants to win the Million Dreams Award. What's the Million Dreams Award? That's one of the Dream Festival events. Everyone votes for who they think is the town's most exemplary citizen. I get it. So that's what he meant by vote. And if you win the award, you get a really cool prize. Oh, it's just a small token, nothing elaborate. The event is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. That's the spirit of the award. Well, that sounds nice enough. He just wants to get his grubby hands on the prize. And he knows that nobody's gonna vote for him if he puts his own name on the ballot. But nobody's fooled. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wish somebody was looking out for me. Huh? Unburst! <laughs> I'll take you on. Thanks for piping up back there. I mean it. The name's Tara. It's nice to meet you, Tara. What are you nuts running out onto the course like that? Yeah, that's against the rules. I'm sure you had your reasons, but I can't say that I approve either. Well, rules don't apply when you're up against the unversed. Rules don't apply? You sound just like Pete. Look, it's Captain Dark. Disguised in shadows, the rogue racer reigns. I am Captain Dark! And you must be the chump who made me miss a new track record! Hold on, how's come I don't know you? Somebody bringing in a ringer? Ah, oh, I'm not even a racer. Must be downright temptatious to try and stop a primo racer like me from getting a record, but we all gotta play by the rules, rookie. Now, just a second! You're the no-good cheater who's always breaking the rules! I can't say racing interests me, but I need to defeat the unversed. Tell me what I've got to do. Are you talking about all those carts that look like scary, ugly monsters? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we've only ever seen the monsters on the track. That's it! Tara, you just need to enter the races. And while you're at it, take that Captain Dark down a notch or two. He's always breaking the rules and causing trouble. I have to become a racer? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I'm sure I don't have to tell you. I know. I'll play by the rules. <laughs> Yay! Terror's gonna be a new racer! Just come talk to me whenever you're ready. I'll get you signed up and everything! Boy, the kid's relentless. Hey, what you doing there? Ah! 
I told you, I'm book solid. N-O spells forget it. Uh, what? And who in hell can answer to you? Can't you see I'm busy? Hey, Phil! I'm all signed up! Phil! All right, Eric, I hear you. Now, would you keep it down already? Aha! <laughs> Beautiful. You happy now? You blew my cover. <laughs> okay. Fess up. I asked around and everybody says you're the guy. The trainer of heroes. True heroes? Really? You can teach that? Of course he can. Come on, Phil, please. I really want to be a hero. Look, we've been through this. I got two words for you. Student, teacher, ratio. One, two, one. I already got my hands full with this one. Come on, Herc. I'm low maintenance, I swear. <laughs> Unburst monsters, huh? Hey, Phil, watch this. I'll show you what I'm made of. And I'll help, too! Okay, change of plans. <laughs> the games are coming up. So I'm gonna watch both of your matches, then I'll decide which of you rookies I want to train. Sweet! Thank you, thank you! I'm gonna go sign up right now! The games, huh? Sounds fun! Sorry, kid. Captain Eager there just took the last spot. I don't understand. Phil, I, I thought you were my trainer. You want to be a true hero, Herc? Then you're gonna have to go out there and show me that everything I taught you so far is gonna pay off. But, Phil... Oh, and no more training sessions for a while. Wouldn't be fair if I helped you and not him. Hey, cheer up. So you gotta fight a couple of matches, no big deal. I'm Ventus. You want me to help you train? You'd really do that for me? Sure. Thanks, Ventus. I'm Hercules. Herc for short. Just call me Ven. You're gonna do fine. Thanks. I'm gonna head over to the Coliseum and warm up. Meet me in the vestibule, okay? You want to become a true hero, huh? More than anything. See, my father is Zeus, the king of the gods, up on Olympus. Whoa! Herc, you're a god? No, no, I'm mortal. When I was a baby, somebody stole me from my parents and figured out how to take away my godhood. And this true hero thing? It's the only way I can become a god again. If I become a true hero, I can rejoin my father and go back to Olympus. Wow. I guess you really got your work cut out for you. But what about you? How come you're here? Uh, I'm... I'm just trying to make some friends. Well, hey, you've done that already. Huh? Come on, we're friends, aren't we? You bet, Herc. All right, you bunch of rookies. It's time we go over the rules of the game, so listen up. All the matches are divided into two brackets, one for the East and one for the West. The winners from each bracket go head-to-head -head in the championship match. Now, I signed you two up for the West, because they already got a heavy-hitting contender cleaning up over there in the East bracket. And if you want to beat them, you're gonna have to hustle in there. Now move those sandals. Heavy hitting contender. Ven, come on. Uh, okay. Oh, my cart must have sprung a spring. You yahoos just wait. Next time I'll clobber all of you. Good. Nobody's gonna vote for a weasel like you, Pete! Pete? Vote? What are you talking about? Chip 
means the Million Dreams Award. It's a very popular part of our Dream Festival. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most exemplary citizen. And since everybody knows how much of a troublemaker Pete is, he probably figured wearing a disguise was the only way he'd get any votes. No votes, no prize. Yeah, the prize is all he really wants anyway. He doesn't care about being a good citizen. Oh, I think that's very sad. The award is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. Well, one thing I know for sure, I'm voting for Tara. Your racing really saved the day against those monster carts. Hip hip hooray for Tara! <laughs> well, I got something out of it too. I learned that you don't always have to bend the rules to reach your goals. <laughs> All this time, I've been staring into the darkness. But that doesn't mean I have to jump in. Yes, we made it! Yeah, and it's all thanks to you, Ven. Good! The other kid will be happy to hear that. No, I need you most of all, Phil. How else am I going to become a hero? Huh, <laughs> about time you got it. Whoever wins, no hard feelings. Of course not. Holding a grudge wouldn't be very heroic. Hey, just making sure. You're not a hero yet. <laughs> True. This is really close. Hey, we got huh? trouble! There's monsters loose in town, and if they get crashed the games, you can forget about the match. Real monsters? We have to stop them. Leave the monsters to me. This match is too important. You won't get past me. Huh? What about your match? Forget the match. No way I could let my friend fight alone. Because I'm a hero. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be one. Come on, let's finish this together. <laughs> 